Did you do that? Havelock called us into the yard, but I wasn't feeling well. I just watched from the attic. The Admiral brought his cutlass. He stuck Wallace through the eye with it. Then he did Lydia. Callista he shot in the back with his pistol. Emily saw it all. Havelock kept yelling something about the things he'd done and how no one could ever know. Pendleton wouldn't even look anyone in the face. There when the killing started. I was only a kid at the last coronation. We even make it to tonight. Oh, you look at this mess. Relax. One of the officers said he was dead. Find the outsider. Please, no! Havelock called us into the yard, but I wasn't feeling well. I just watched from the... Mess? Relax. One of the officers said he was dead. Poison thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. With a mask in the river, left down. That's what a rational person would do. Not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwell girl from him the whole time they were working with him. I heard they locked him in a cage and only let him out at night. The criminal mind, huh? So what's he doing now? Waiting. He's probably watching us right now. Ever closer until cut it out. What's so impressive about this? Who's he got up against? A couple of high overseers, a couple of noblemen. Update. My men are still charging. Big Piero Joplin is inside. There is evidence that Anton Sokolov was held here against his will for some time.
Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Chances are very good.
Lord Regent. I hereby claim the titles of Grand Admiral of the Fleet. Others took Emily away in a boat. I don't know where, and her hair hadn't been combed yet. I worry who will look after her. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. Refreshing to converse with someone on my own level. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the Academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. I want to ask you... About the elixir, yes. And I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subjects? I can't recruit from prisons as you do. Homo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Ark Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. <laughs> Go 
Thought I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We should start off soon. I've been feeling something in my bones, and if it's plague, well, I can't be counted on to drive this boat much longer. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. island is a bloody mess. Looks like they fought. Maybe over Emily. Just after they landed. I bet the Admiral's got her locked up in the lighthouse somewhere. Hamilton's lost the first round. He's probably dug in someplace, doing his best to drink himself to death. I suspect it's Martin who's got the lighthouse under siege. They turned on each other at last. So the Admiral's power mad, Martin's a snake, and Lord Pendleton is a coward. And you. I'm a little disappointed, Corvo. It's like you've gone out of your way to be brutal. It's been interesting traveling with you. But this is the last time you'll see me, sir. Goodbye. My only hope is that Emily comes out of this all right. Out, Corvo. I'll let you go this once. I'm warning you, Corvo. Out of the boat. <laughs> 